Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super cute and easy fish lure tumbler. Um, they're super fun to do and pretty popular among my customers and there are so many different options that you can use. So I started off with a white based tumbler. I went ahead and uh, based it with white flat white spray paint and then I got these stockings from Amazon so I ended up opening one pack and not liking the design, which was that one. I didn't like it and then ended up opening a different pack. So what you want to look for when you're purchasing these is when you stretch them, there aren't a bunch of strings together. Um, unfortunately, I did not get close enough to be able to show that, but I opened it and I didn't like the way that it had looked. So I went ahead and opened up this pack, which turned out to work better for me. I got these off of Amazon. They were pretty cheap and you can reuse them. You can clean them and reuse them. Um, I've not cleaned them and then I'll reuse them and they're still fine. So since this is uh, a brand new package, I went ahead and just put the tumbler at the foot part of the stockings um, but once you cut it you can always tie a knot at the end and then use that as an end piece too so you can use the entire stocking you don't have to just use the foot part so I made sure it was around the tumbler and then I didn't do this at with this tumbler which I should have but I you want to make sure that the diamonds are pretty evenly spaced and look the same around the entire tumbler. So if you look at the one that I did make, it, it is a little bit bigger on one side. So this is me having a conversation in the background while I film this, um, just because, you know, I like to run my mouth. But um, <laughs> um, so I take rubber band, one rubber band, and I wrap around the tumbler as tight as I can. And then I take scissors and I cut the stocking right below where the rubber band is. Um, if the stick that the tumbler is on is shorter, it's easier to wrap the rubber band around. I didn't think about that when I did this. Um, I usually do, but um, that's what I had in my garage at the moment. So I'm making sure that the tumbler and the stocking are securely together after making sure that they're even, evenly on top and evenly all the way around, just like that. So once you do that, you are going to base it. So I'm using a fluorescent orange, a fluorescent yellow, and a fluorescent green. I like Krylon for fluorescent spray paint, but it's up to you. So there are two different ways you can do this. You can add the stocking onto a stainless steel tumbler, spray it white, and then do your fluorescent, or you can spray it white like I did, and then add the stocking, and then do your paint. It's all um, regardless, before you do the fluorescent, you want the white spray paint because that is what makes the neon spray paint pop. It's just how it works. So if you were to spray the neon on top of a, just a plain stainless steel tumbler, it's not going to look as bright as if you base it white first. So regardless, use the white. So what I do is I do the orange and the green first. So I basically paint one side, leave a little, little bit of white, and then paint the other side the other color. Um, when I do this, which you can, again, this is so customizable. You could do silver and blue for tuna fish. You could do a hot pink and a green. It's all up to you. This is just a standard that I usually do. So I do the yellow last because the yellow blends so well with other colors. So with the orange and the green, spraying it in between, it blends very well making it into an, a yellow to a yellow green to a green and a yellow to a yellow orange to an orange. So once I do the yellow, I then go back over it with the green and the orange again, and then I let it sit for like an hour, make sure it's completely dry, and then you'll take off the stocking. So this is what it looks like after you do the spray and then you can add again more layers of color if you want it to pop a little bit more. So what I do, um, I just cut the rubber band and then it all comes off super easy. I peel it back and then you'll see the white behind it. Now if you did the stocking over stainless steel then sprayed it white instead of the white you would see the stainless steel so this customer did not want any glitter on it but sometimes uh, if the customer asks I'll do a dusting of like silver glitter just a little bit added to the epoxy when I epoxy it and then 
it has almost like a bait look because that's what it's supposed to look like. So I had already cut out the file. I used a file I found off of Etsy, which I'll link below in the description, and I applied it after I epoxied it. So make sure you put a layer, a layer of epoxy on before you add your decal. That way you don't end up ruining the spray paint when you pull your transfer tape up. So this is just me applying the decal. And then what I use is like a metallic color changing like blue green that goes where the eyeball is. That way it kind of gives it a little something spunky, you know? So this is just me flattening the, the decals that didn't want to flatten. And then you'll see me apply it on the other side. So here I'm just going to show you how I layer the vinyl. So what I do is I take the little black dot first and then I center it to the best of my ability on the bluish green metallic circle that I did. Again, this was all a part of the SVG that I purchased off of Etsy. And there are different styles that you can do, different fish that you can do. It's so customizable. It's so easy to do. It's, it's awesome. And in, instead of a fish on one side, you could do someone's name on that side. It's really up to you and your customer. So then after I stick it on there, I just pick it up through there and then I put it on the fish lure. And bam, there you go. And then I do this to the other side. I add a layer of epoxy and then I actually add two layers of epoxy because I like to have at least three just to make it sturdy. Um, it's really up to you, but that's what I do. So um, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the end where I show the epoxy part. Again, just layering it on there. And then you're done. That's it. That's all you have to do. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick tutorial. I appreciate you watching. If you could please like and subscribe, that would help me out so much. Um, comment below if you have any questions and have a fantastic day. Oh, and before I go, um, I also have a Facebook group now. Um, it's called Banff Crafters and small biz owners so you can find me on facebook there's a link in my bio where i can answer more questions and i do lives and all kinds of fun stuff so thank you guys